Jenny, today we're just doing D4. Excellent. Last time you had a good D4. Oh, I mean, man, yeah. your means it's not really something you'd, you'd lower yourself to, is it? I love D4. There we go. I've even bought them from you. <laughs> He's bought them from me. When, when everyone else was out of supply. <laughs> <laughs> UEB SEP 17. So it's really just got a year on it. Yeah. But uh, I love I've it. got some old vintage I will take this for some. Yeah. So, Kenny, you've, you've obviously a connoisseur of the D4. You enjoy a good D4. I love D4. These are great D4s. Well, they look like big great D4s. Let's see. Then exactly why am I here? Out. I have no idea, to be honest. Just, you need someone to escape to. I was dropping off cigars for your camping trip. So, we don't camp. Do I look like I go camping? Glamp, your glamping trip. We don't glamp either. Hmm? Anyway. Just just check the drawer. I love, love the, love the drawer cold. Just got D4 oh, written on the There's a certain D4 profile, isn't there? Absolutely. Fairly easy drawer. Yeah. I'm more surprising. I'm surprised. It's firm, the, it's firm to the touch, it's, isn't it? The, the wrap. I mean, it might look good, but it's. Yeah. It's got a little split in there. Coming man. off faster than the kid's Christmas present. Kenny, when, when you think Partagas D4, what do you think? Well, I now like, think of the Cowboys losing an extra time. But, uh, <laughs> Outside of that, what do you normally think? Oh, uh, reliable, always good, ages very well, um, and love the age versions, but you can also smoke them young. Uh, lots of flavour. Give us three. Three what? Flavours. Flavours. Yeah. You'll expect sort of a, a warm earth sort of character, sometimes almost a, a rich, nutty, dark coffee. Um, well, sometimes a bit of cherry, but I'm wondering whether that's more this wrapper. It is a wrap. It's a, yeah. it's a, it's a beautiful Rosado wrappers on this. Just give that little bit of a cherry note. I'm to getting cheer. A don't, Morello cherry note to it. Just don't, to, don't normally think cherry. It, it, it's, it's, this is I, here. I love that Rosado wrapper, yeah. but it's. I struggle a little bit with D4s <laughs> and when, when I have to come and describe them because I, there's 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 a spiced cream note to it, and not a sweet cream. It's a it's a sour mm. spiced creams. It's, it's got some smoked paprika in there. It's got uh, it's just it's almost like a cheese, um, but I'm not not not. I said nothing. A really mild, super mild cheese, and I, I it, and it doesn't make sense. That's why I don't use that in my descriptors. But uh, yeah, it, there's a spice note to it. It's cream. So I suppose if you look at if you look at a cheese, it, it's cream. It's 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 a soury type cream, it's a spice type cream. It's cheese gone it's cream gone wrong. Cream um, gone wrong. <laughs> it's a movie. <laughs> um, cream gone wrong. I have a new favourite cheese, but that's uh, uh, oh, tell us while we're here. From Portugal. Serra. S E R R A. Serra from it's Portugal. Sheep's cheese from the mountains. Comes in things like this. You soft, cut out a little. Soft. You cut out. It's a big rind. And it's wrapped in cloth, and you cut out the little top bit, and you just spoon out. It's almost crazy. Yeah. How is your health keep going? Oh, jeez. Well, I'm going to Fraser's on Friday, so I figured I'll worry about it afterwards because whatever, whatever <laughs> hey, I do Christmas before, is around the corner. Whatever. Right? No, Christmas I've got a chance. Fraser I've got no chance. Um, so I'll, five I'll people going. It. I think there's uh, every bottles of people going. Eight people. Every bottles of wine. About 140. But we're there for eight, <laughs> eight nights. Eight nights, 140 bottles of wine. Eight people. Any beers? No beers, surely. Six or eight cases. So that's it. Cartons. A bit of fine. Um, yeah. well, there might be a little left over. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. People drink less at spring break. Uh, <laughs> well, look. Good stuff, though. It's all oh, good it's all stuff. stuff. Good yeah. stuff. Good stuff, yeah. Hey, well, you, you, you need older. champagne in the morning when you fish. Naturally. Uh, mm -hmm. So, coming back to here, how's your how's your first quarter? Describe that. First third, I should say. Pretty much as, as described. Yeah. There's that little bit of that's uh, a cherry. That's a traditional D4. Yeah. It's really good smoking. Yeah. The, the, the addition is that cherry. That cherry note, yeah. which is the wrapper. Mm. Rosado wrapper. I'm enjoying it. Absolutely. Back to your I shot. can't think of Sorry. many D4s that I haven't thoroughly enjoyed. No, there was, a bat, there was a bit of a patch there a couple of years back where they're a little bit bitter. But this is, you yeah, know, I'm glad. Mm. I'm glad that's disappeared. We're back to good traditional D4s and the current 2018 MSUs are really, really good guys.
you can if you can track those down. When you were doing vintage, you had a box of vintage. I think they're from, oh, I don't know, probably eleven or maybe yeah. earlier, or eight or something. Um, and I'm almost through those, but they've just been. You, the 2008, have, I think. Yeah, you have one of those, and you think, why would you, you know, as much as the Cahibas uh, are fantastic. And why would you chase down? Yeah. The, these things are just wonderful. Good boxes put away, just regular stock. Mm. Way ahead of the game, guys, with that. I'd be interested if anyone's pain. tried the uh, the D4 Reserver of late. Oh, put it on the forum. Yeah. Well, Ask the did. question. I just did. Well, put it on the forum. Using the type of way. Back to you shortly. Straight to the last third, Kenny. Second third didn't change too much. No, nah, no, nah, little, little. Oh, it's, it's quite powerful. Mine's, Mine's got strong. It's actually got a bit. Yeah. It's it's got a bit tannic towards the end. Yeah, it's it's probably better in two or three years. Another twelve months or something. Tiny little bit ragged where it had those little splits, but um, other than that, it's been very good. It's been a a good young D four, which to me is an eighty nine. 88, 89 point cigar. Something 1991. 1991. Mm. Good solid D4. Doesn't disappoint. Produces. But you're right. D4s to me are one of those cigars at the three year mark. Is, is where you, for me, I, I like that. Yeah. The elbows get smoothed out of it. The rough edges get smoothed out of it. But it still retains that intensity, that, that, that vibrant nature, which is I, I like about it. I said earlier you can smoke them young, but yeah, they are better if you can leave them for a couple of years. Now, your age boxes, which yours is a 208, if I remember correctly, Something 2008. Like that, yeah. I like them at that age as well, but they, they're they much smoother cigars. They, they, they don't have that same level of intensity to them. No, no, you get more of that complexity that comes in. So when you say complexity in HD4, again, what flavours are you looking at in a complexity? I've started to see a tiny little bit of sort of that roasted cashew nut carrot coming through this, and I reckon you get more of that with a bit of age. Um, uh, yeah, you don't get that sort of bright primary fruits or anything like that. You get, um, you do get that slight earthiness, um, richness, um, uh, but yeah, nuttiness. Um, the, the smoked paprika that you mentioned, that, that's a good description. Yeah, which I enjoy. Mm. I enjoy it because it, it, it sets it apart from other Robustos. Um, you know, it's got a unique a unique flavour profile. But post that question up in regards to reservers, yeah. uh, especially specifically the D4 reserver. Yeah. But uh, I, I haven't had one of those for, for years. No, I, I wouldn't have had one for 18 months, I suppose. Mm. And I, I, I was never convinced that they were any better than um, a good aged one. I think they're very good. But I'd love to do that taste test. Well, when you get time, rock around with them. Shall do. <laughs> Great. I'm, I'm providing venue, drinks, and now cigars for his reviews. <laughs> so it should be. Until next week. When I'll tell him what they were like. Have a great week fishing. It won't, won't be next week, will it? No, the week after. Have a great week fishing. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll do one before I head away. Uh, we might review some puntillas um, before I head away. Excellent. When are you heading? Uh, not till the end of the month, beginning, beginning of November. Okay. We could. I still wake up. Have a great week. Cheers. You haven't had a well, D4 for I tell you what, all we're going to do is smell smoke. We've got a 40 foot bonfire across the road. They're burning the, uh, God knows what they're burning, but anyway, um, at least it's an afternoon, not midnight when they use It's perfect, mate. They got a permit. How do you know they got a permit? You told me before. I every, said every time, he complains about his neighbours every week. Yeah? I every, do, I've never every complained time, about the neighbours. Every time they I do like a fire, the like he the rings the council. He rings the council what? and what? says, Oi, Oh, look, yeah. He's a neighbour from hell. The brothers Grimm are off again. <laughs> um, seriously. <laughs> Once I rang because they put a 40 foot bonfire at hell. midnight, um, which I thought was perhaps not, not Check wild. You. Yeah, I'll take this Rosado wrapper and everything else. Oh, I use mum's coin. It'll be your parole officer. <laughs>